My name's Grant G. I'm a filmmaker specialising in documentaries and amongst my films are two music documentaries. One about Radiohead uh, in 1997-98 called Meeting People is Easy and one a kind of retrospective look at Joy Division which is called very creatively Joy Division. Meeting People is Easy is essentially a year in the life of Radiohead uh, in the wake of the release of OK Computer. It's organised strictly chronologically, so we come on, the first shots in the film are the first time they played OK Computer to the assembled ladies and gentlemen of the press, and the last shots in the film are on the last gig of the OK Computer tour. So it covers the period from when they didn't know how this album was going to be received, and at the end of that year, obviously they were in a very different place. I think I spent about 30 days sort of on the road with them over the course of that year and it was very intense and very difficult and just an extraordinary privilege really. I tried to depict what it was like being that band at that time. I, you know, I, I carried on the initial brief if you were, like what's it like on their side of all this. I tried really hard to show what it was like being them during that and so I think there is, just in, the, in the midst of this massive media machine that they're rolling through I think there's a sense of the film that if it was you, how would you feel? Oh, you'd feel really messed up by it. And I think that, that, I think that people can empathise with a global rock and roll band is quite a difficult thing to do, and I think we did it quite well with the film. My favourite part of Meeting People is Easy, the Radiohead film, I think is when we bring in a Scott Walker song, very unexpectedly. Was it? It's um, On Your Own Again from Scott 4. And we put it with some mute pictures of Tom looking a bit uh, freaked out and some pictures of bugs crawling on a hotel window with the New York skyline in the background. And I remember sitting in an edit suite and just one of those, you know, those moments where you chuck some pictures down and you bung a track against the pictures and suddenly some sort of magic happens from these disparate elements, which is the best thing. And oh my word, I never expected it would make that. And that's, so I, I, I really still enjoy that. A music documentary which was really inspiring to me was a film that Robert Frank made about the Rolling Stones in 1972. It was Robert Frank with a Super 8 camera following the Rolling Stones around and he got to the emotional heart of it and he manipulated it, and it but it all felt absolutely personal. There's an extraordinary performance of Midnight Rambler they do in that, which is really slow and messy and pulled apart. And Jagger's kind of whipping the stage with his mic lead, and it's all very menacing and Altamonte feeling. And here it is on BBC Radio 6 Music. <laughs> 